Hello and welcome to Wilcom's video short series for Embroidery Studio E4.0. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Use Refine lettering inside the Embroidery Studio software. Uh, the User Define lettering allows you to use multiple versions of the same uh, font based on the height of a particular character that you will uh, place on the screen. I'm going to navigate over here to my letter A as I right click. I'm going to just click inside my little box and I'm going to type in some text on my screen. I'm going to make sure also that I have the free line for my baseline so that I can just click just once on the screen to enter my text. Uh, as I left click, it's going to place that on the screen. And I'm also going to select that I'm going to increase the size of this proportionately by clicking on my object, uh, clicking on the left cor left right corner here, and pressing my shift key down to in increase the size proportionately, like this. Okay. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to change my color here. I'm going to hide the stitches on the screen by pressing S's and Sam. As I click on the lettering on the screen, I'm also going to I press the H's in Harry. That's going to take me to my reshape mode. Okay. As I zoom in here by rolling my mouse button forward, um, we're going to edit one of the characters here. Uh, let's say that uh, we got a design for some lettering and every letter was the same except for the letter A. So we're going to go in and we're going to modify just the letter A. So I'm going to click it here in reshape mode where I could see all the node points and I'm just going to grab it. I'll grab this one and move it out. This one just like this to change the shape of the A. Now once I've done that I'm going to with my cursor on the screen I'm going to left click my mouse button and draw a box around just the letter A. Okay now even though all of the no points are not selected here it's fine as long as you make sure that you draw the box completely around the character. At this point I'm going to navigate up top here to my object drop menu and I'm going to create a user find letter here. And when I select the create user refine letter, I'm going to get a pop up on my screen and it just gives me instructions on actually what this is. Um, it enables you to have multiple versions of the same letter. OK, and each version has a unique height range when using the letter in a design and the height of the letter will automatically uh, be determined by the version that you're using. We have some options here. We have the height range. I can change the original font permanently okay by changing all existing versions of this which will have this letter A in it but that's not what I want to do um, or I can choose this uh, at a size a height size let's say greater than 12.0 so we're going to use this greater than 12.0 millimeters tall and we're going to give it a name also we'll name it new A Okay, so I've gone in, I've determined um, what at what height I want to use this at, and I'm giving it a name. Okay, and right now I'm going to click OK. I get a pop up letting me know that my letter has been saved to my use refine alphabet file, and I acknowledge it by clicking OK. So right now on the screen, as I said it previously, um, this letter A on my screen here, I'm going to press now right now once I select the letters on the screen here the letters here are larger than 12 millimeters tall because the height here is 19.54 and I did indicate that I wanted to use this uh, larger than 12.0 so right now I'm going to take this height size down here to below 12 I'll make it 10.0 and I'm going to press enter so you see what happens it goes back to the original letter A for the alphabet and whenever I go in now and I use this larger than 12.0, which I'll go in and I'll type in 14.0. See what happens? Anytime above 12 millimeters now, um, this letter A here will engage this uh, particular alphabet that I have on the screen based on the height that I gave it. Okay. Now, if we want to manage those under setup, we can scroll down to where we can manage 
use the refine letters. As I left click, it gives me a pop up a pop up on my screen, and it gives me the um, the factory name of it here, which I can go in. Um, the letter that I actually modified, I can select here from my list and click on it, which was the small letter A. And here is the letter that I actually modified. So it gives me a name of it here and the actual size that I'm going to use it for. So I can go in, I could adjust that number. Uh, I can change that number to eight or I can change it to 16 if I want to. And that will automatically adjust uh, the text based on the height that I give it. And that letter will actually change just as it did uh, a second ago when I showed you. And that is basically how to use the uh, use refine uh, here. My, my factory settings here and here's my new A that you saw me create. Also, I'm just going to click OK here. So again, above 12 millimeters is going to give me my my A here that I actually selected. Um, if I want to, I can also go. I can navigate over. I can uncheck use save version and that's going to take it back to its original also. OK, so again, this is how to actually work uh, the user refined lettering in Embroidery Studio E 4.0. Thank you so much for your time. And as always, we ask you to visit us at www.willcomeamerica.com. Thank you.